Hey guys, what's going on? So today, I'm going to start with a new video series. And the reason I'm doing this is, so I keep a little book. Where is it? It's right here. So it's a little index card book. It's a small spiral bound index card. And I keep all my box designs that I ever do in this book. The problem with this is, I have about a dozen of these. From Boxes I've commissioned that no one ever got, made, to boxes I've built and loved. So instead of doing that, I figured, you know what? I'm designing them, I'm building them, I'm making money off them. Why not offer them to y'all for free, along with getting more videos out that y'all will like? So this box right now is unfinished. Here's why. This box is tuned to 34 to 35 hertz. Depending on if you, depending on your bracing and depending on the sub displacement, okay. When you add a sub and depending on if you add two subs and depending on how many 45s and what size 45s, you're going to change the air volume. Now this is just a basic tuning box. This box, and also remember if you if you plug these dimensions into uh, Kicker, Fosgate, Reaudio, WinISD. Um, tour. If you put this into all of those calculators, all of them, it's kind of funny because some of them will give you the same cubic foot measurements and some will give you different, but they'll also give you different tuning even with the same parameters. So be aware, softwares can range depending on the developer, depending on what features like WinSI, uh, WinISD and Basebox Pro actually input all of the specific information and specs from a subwoofer. So those two, WinISD and uh, Basebox Pro, they give you more in-depth, accurate calculations, but they do cost a lot more money. Um, WinISD is free. Well, yeah, Basebox Pro is like 100 bucks, and then I, when I, ISD is free, um, TORS is no longer available from TORS. I don't know why. I think it was inaccurate or something. What other one costs money? Um, Box Calculator, I think, costs money. And there's a few. There's a ton of apps. There's, there's apps and programs. So you got programs for the computer that are only for the computer, and then you got some that are multi-platform. Just know, you can plug this into 10 different calculators and get 10 different results, depending on what parameters it actually goes off of. And also, I'm measuring all these measurements from the outside. So I'm going to give you all the basic outside dimensions, so make sure you're not doing inner dimensions. The inner dimensions, so if you're measuring from the inside to inside, it's going to give you different. Most apps will actually be like, all right, what is the actual size of the external or internal? And then I ask you for the wood size, like 0.75 would be three quarter inch. And this is MDF. This will work for MDF, birch, pine, whatever you're going to use. I don't recommend um, like a media board or masonite or anything like that. If you're going to do it, do it in MDF, birch, or pine. Three quarter inch. The more layers, the better the wood. So let's get started. So this box should be tuned anywhere from 30. 234 hertz depending on you know factors now let's get started now these are outside dimensions and port dimensions only so internally it's it's going to change with more bracing so if you put poles if you put cross sections it it's it's going to change your airflow a little bit and also 45s 90s inside whatever you're going to do so if you do 45s in the corners, if you do 90s in the corners for bracing, I've seen it all. People do squares in the sides, which I don't get. If you're going to do it, do 45, 45, 45, 45. If you're going to do two subs, you know, put a pole or a square beam and say that there's plenty of things to do. Also, this is a slot ported box. This can be right side or left side, depending on which way you want to mount the subs. All right, let's get started. So this is the top plate. This is the front, obviously the back. You can mount your subs, front, top, bottom, back, whichever in this box will rotate because there's no previously cut hole. So we're going to go from the top plate so you can see top looking down. 
So 32 wide, 20, uh, this one's 20 long, I mean deep. So we're, we're looking in the trunk or a SUV hatch, 32 wide. We're doing 20 deep, 18 is the height. Core is gonna be 16 and a quarter. And width is gonna be three inches, okay? Now always make sure you let your box dry before you test it, unless you're doing a dry test, which means you'll drill a couple of screw holes, you'll screw it together, test fit it, sound test it on low power, take it apart, glue it, all that. Now I use uh, two inch brad nails and wood glue and clamp it all together and then I'll sand it, paint it, either splatter paint or whatever, or it's a really nice color. And if you do a epoxy base coat on subwoofer boxes with MDF, you will get the best results. You can make it crystal clear, you can use automotive paint, buff it out, you'll be good to go, even clear coat. So, if you're gonna measure this box with the port up, you can do, um, so you'll go here, all right, front face, plus the three, so we got 32, three quarters. So we're at 31 and a quarter minus three. Well, we got 28 and a quarter. So we got 28 and a quarter, three quarters. Port is set on the inside. Mark your line so, you're, so you know where the uh, nails or screws go. This box. It will do good with a 15. It will do good with, you could technically do an 18 on top. So if you're doing top or the bottom, looking at the way I am, you could put an 18 here, 18 on the bottom, and just flip it so your port will be on the, if you're looking at it, it'll be on the left. Right now it's on the right. So this is the top, port on the right. This is the top, port on the left, if you see how that works. So you can do a single 15, single 18. You do two 10s on the front face. You could even get away with two 12s, it'd be kind of tight. You could do uh, You could get away with four 10s at a like a stagger. You could do five eights, eight, six and a half. But obviously Sub displacement and everything is going to be a big factor on this, guys. But this is a basic design, 32 wide, 20 deep, 18 tall, outer dimensions. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be posting a video of this box in action. I don't know if I'm going to throw an FIBTL in it, if I'm going to throw the Inmatch Jogger not when it gets reconed in it, or I might pick up a cheap set of 12s, throw them in there, and flip them. But thanks for watching, guys. This is going to be a... Um, Pretty simple box build as well. All you need is a nail gun, um, a drill, um, screws instead of nails, wood glue, and MDF. And a circular saw or jigsaw depending on what you're going to use. If you have a table saw, definitely helps.